Dr. Joseph Murphy wrote um, how to use the laws of mind and in this he wrote you know where the enemy is you cannot afford resentment hatred hostility or emotional stress because these emotions rob you of discernment vitality peace of mind and health leaving you a physical and mental wreck truly it pays dividends to love your enemies well when I was getting sober, they said that we had to get rid of all resentments because if you hang on to your resentments, you're surely going to get drunk again. And um, so how do you get rid of a resentment? Um, they said to pray for the person you have a resentment for. And some people are easier to pray for than others. Well, there was one person who um, I just couldn't pray for. I just couldn't, you know, as far as I was concerned. He didn't deserve any positive energy at all. He didn't deserve prayer. You know, for the crime that I felt he committed against me, um, it was really hard to forgive, and it was really um, hard to pray for him. And so, you know, I, I worked with my sponsor on this, and she said, you know, um, the prayer could be as simple as, dear God, bless that son of a bitch, you know. Um, which was my prayer for, for weeks, you know, and then eventually I was able to say the person's name. Um, and right now thinking about it, you know, um, I'm even able to see what my part in the situation was. And um, It, it just is a very difficult thing sometimes to pray for those that you have a resentment for and um, to love your enemy. It just is. Sometimes it's easier than others. But um, in the end, hanging on to the anger, see, when we hang on to that anger, the only person it's hurting is us. It's not hurting them. You know, that anger is playing tricks on our body and our mind and and we're just all kind of caught up in this like knotted mess um, and we have to let go of those things to live a healthier um, type of life I don't know I do know that um, I heard a phrase once that you know, hanging on to anger is like drinking a poison and hoping the other person dies from it. You know, it's that same type of thing. Somehow, we just need to let go of the anger. And the only way I learned to do it is to pray continuously on a daily basis for those that piss me off. And that's the bottom line, you know. So I'm not saying that I don't get mad. I do get mad. And I'm not saying that um, I don't like telling the story about it because I will tell the story about when somebody makes me mad. You know, I have to get that anger out somehow. And then I have to move on into a place of forgiveness. And that comes for praying for the person. And even if it is, dear God, please bless that son of a bitch, we need to let it go. Because the only person it's damaging is us.